Hey, our friends, so we're going to be drawing a farm landscape. Yeah, we hope you're going to follow along with us. You need your drawing supplies. We're going to use a marker, but you can use whatever you have at home or in the classroom. You also need some paper and something to color with. Yeah, you ready to start? Yes. Now we're using marker paper because we're drawing with markers and also at the very end, we're coloring with markers. We also have two sheets of paper just to protect our table. All right, let's first start by adding a frame to our drawing. We're, this keeps it so that we don't have to color or draw all the way to the edge of our paper. And also the nice thing about this too is if you want to save on your markers, not use as much of your markers, you could make this frame a lot smaller on your drawing and draw everything that we're doing just a little smaller. But uh, I like this because then it kind of looks like um, a picture that's framed because yes. of the actual frame that's around it. So I'm just turning my paper sideways so that I can pull the line towards me. And I went really fast, so remember to pause the video if you need extra time. There you go, and then one more to connect. Nice job. We did it. We're not completely finished though. <laughs> now we need to and do we're our- we We drew a rectangle. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We need to draw the farm now. Let's draw the horizon line. We're, I'm going to turn my paper sideways so that I can pull the line towards me. And I'm going to draw it maybe right about here, just under half. So it's a little lower than halfway. There you go. Nice. And then we can turn it back. Let's draw the farm or the barn way off in the distance. So we're going to draw it really close to the horizon line. That's this line. And if we want to draw things closer to us, we can draw them lower on our paper. So things that are higher are further away, like the clouds and the sky, and things that are lower are closer to us. Okay, let's draw the barn. I'm just going to draw, maybe it's so far away we can't really see what's going on, or maybe we can't see all of the details on our barn. We're going to just draw two lines up. I'm going to draw a horizontal line to connect. Then let's draw a shape that comes up, over, and down. Maybe we could draw another building coming off to the side or an add-on to the barn. And I'm going to add a little roof on top to a flat roof. Let's draw another building over here. This could be like a silo. I'm going to draw it kind of high. We'll come over and then back down. And then let's also add a little roof on top of that. And we could also add, maybe there's just, I don't know, poles or fences out here. I'm going to draw a couple other lines. Oh, and um, maybe there's also a tree way back here in the distance. So I'm going to draw a big shape like that and maybe a smaller tree right next to it. Oh, and also a tree over here. That's the fun thing about art is you can add as many different things as you want to your drawing. You don't have to draw exactly like us. You can just use our drawings as inspiration. And then I have a little rectangle shape over here. Maybe there's another building that's just way off in the distance. This is looking super cool already. And we just have the background in. Yeah. We don't, we don't have the clouds or even the foreground. So let's next draw a pond that's right here. Sometimes farms have ponds where ducks can uh, hang out or I was going to say chickens, but they don't like to swim. <laughs> Maybe uh, geese. There we go. Well, I'm going to draw a pond that's just out here and it's kind of a weird shape, huh? Yeah. But uh, we've got this pond that's in front or closer to us. So it's lower on our drawing. Oh, we could also add some cows. Maybe there's just a little cow right here. I'm going to draw an upside down square kind of rectangle shape and then I'm going to add the body and even color this in. Maybe this is a dark or a black cow, dark brown cow. I'm going to add a little head. <laughs> Let's add even more cows. I'm just going to draw a couple more in here and just repeat those same steps. So maybe the, some of the cows could be facing towards us too. So I'm going to draw this one like that. And it's so far away that it's okay. You don't have to worry about trying to make it look exactly like a cow. Maybe they're horses or pigs or <laughs> something with four legs. And uh, maybe there's another little one over here. This could even be a dog or a sheep. Oh, I'm going to add a couple more of those small ones. Got to have animals on your farm, right? Yeah. 
I love that our two drawings don't look exactly the same. And it's okay if your drawings look different too. In fact, I hope you're changing them so they do look different. The most important thing is to have fun and to practice. Practice. Remember to have fun and practice. Okay, let's keep going. Okay. Let's add some of the farmland. So I'm going to draw maybe a line that comes off the uh, pond right here. Oh, and then maybe another one that comes down this way. So some of the different land we can divide up the land because some of it is yellow some could be green and uh, maybe let's do another let's divide it up right here i'm going to draw a line that comes all the way across oh we could even let's draw another one that does that same thing but we could stop sooner and then come back and then let's draw another one going this way Check, we did it. We finished. No, well, we're not completely done. <laughs> we still need to color it. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to look so much better once we add color and also extra details like clouds in the background. This part we're going to fast forward, but remember at the end, you can pause the video to match our same coloring or use our drawings as inspiration to color your drawings. Are you ready to fast forward? Yeah. Jack, we did it. We finished coloring and drawing one of my new favorite landscapes. I love it too. Yeah, it's really cool. I love the texture that we added to the grass or the different fields. And I also love the texture, the clouds that we added to the sky. We used our biannual markers to color with. We used two grays for the farm or the barn in the background. We used WG03 and WG05. For the sky, we used two different blues. B203 and B201. Yeah, B201 we used for the clouds and B203 we used for the sky and also the water in the pond. Then for the blue that's way off in the background, we used B003. The yellow we used was Y204, and we used three greens, a bright green. This color right here is G406, and then the dark green we used two, uh, G335. That's the lighter green that we put down first, and then G554 we used for the blades of grass. But also remember, you can color your drawings any way you want. You can also use different supplies like colored pencils or even watercolor. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your farm landscape. We do. We hope you had a lot of fun, and we hope you take extra time to color your drawings. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.